Good morning people! It is around 9 a.m. maybe <laughs> and it is our third day on the restart track and actually right now <laughs> I'm heading to the toilets right before we are heading out and I wanted to show you how amazing these campsites or hut, huts, no they're huts are it was a pure bliss to come and sleep in the hut yesterday or today so yeah take a look there is a toilet with running water and flushing toilets separate a bit from the camp house that is there and yeah it's pretty amazing that's the staff quarters and that's the main hut there are two bunk bedrooms in the main hut and we slept in the bunk beds a bit away that's my mom hello yeah and we slept here oh and every morning the hut warden gives out gets the weather forecast from the satellite phone and writes it here so it seems it will be periods of rain in afternoon and hopefully we will reach to our destination before the rain <laughs> so today it should be like a seven hour walk to the next hut i think it will take us an hour more because that's usually how it has been but it should be quite easy i think the hard parts are now done <laughs> all of the climbing and descending of traps marked by these blue markers here uh, to catch these small um, rodents that are threatening the local bird species and I read from the hut that there are many many bird species that are really in critical da danger and poor little fellow has oh yeah it has been trapped but the New Zealand conserv conservator office <laughs> don't know how it's called has decided that it is best to catch as many rodents as possible otherwise these forests here would be silent of bird singing on the hut wall I saw a poster with I don't know like five or six critically endangered bird species so it's serious Hello. This is a new girl. Is it a tarjun matka, that guys think it's too much to come up? Is this it? Up, pick it up. Oh, be a go. Hey, you're a very smart cleanup. We put on the Narin the top of the gap, Minky Seme. Toxis, we all got back. Oh, 
No ma ei tea, mingi elage oma elu. We came from there and the track opened up to this side. There has been some massive landslide here that has taken the track with it. Uh, but I suppose we have to follow these uh, stone cairns or stone towers. But first let's air out our toes because it's quite quite hot although the forest is providing nice shade. I am having this for a snack. It's something that we bought from an outdoor store in New Zealand and it tastes amazing. It's a bit heavy but it is really nutritious. So we started from the Muddy Creek car park the day before yesterday. Then we slept there. Uh, this is the resaddle. Last night we spent here and now we are somewhere here. And tonight's destination will be here. And then we will get a ride back from here. So far my favorite part was this part here between the resaddle and tart hut. Really gorgeous. This this landscape here gives me the vibes of uh, the sound of music. I would like to sing, although I can't. The hills are alive with the sound of music. No, no. Oh my God, it's really alpine, alpine like, like in the Alps. Although I have never been there. I don't know, but are there any glaciers in the Alps? Because there is one here, right here. Oh, they look so magnificent and powerful. I love glaciers. Such a nice cold breeze coming from that waterfall, but I have to say there are so many beautiful water waterfalls here that I am just like immune to them now. Like they are all so beautiful. I can't take pictures of them all the time. Help! <laughs> but oh, it has been really hot uh, section. The cattle flat was oh, excruciating. Now walking in the shade of the trees is quite nice, but as we are getting lower and lower, the heat is getting higher and higher. Oh. Yes. 
Jotima. I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning, it is half past seven and we have been walking for an about an hour now and it has been a really nice stroll in a really beautiful forest trail but now we are entering a landslide area once again where the trail is really hmm, uh, interesting and challenging uh, <laughs> um, for about a half an hour we had to walk with uh, our headlamps because I discovered that the um, shuttle bus we uh, bought tickets to to get out of the trail leaves at 2 o'clock which means we are in a really tight schedule to catch that uh, shuttle bus so <laughs> we woke up at 5.45 quickly ate our breakfast and uh, started walking but yeah I hope we can catch the bus if not then I really don't know what we will do but the morning is nice and foggy the mountains are beautiful and let's try to survive this landslide area <laughs> the land will not be sliding anymore just the trail is really uh, challenging haven't understood it yet this trail isn't an easy stroll around the mountains it's hard work so I totally understand the advanced marking the New Zealand like conservation site gives to this trail oh, but it's doable it's just you have to work for it can you see that massive landslide there? It's huge! And it goes all the way down there behind the trees. Wow! I could really use a shower right now, but <laughs> Let's go under it for now. Oh. <laughs> oh, I really hope this is the sign that the landslide area is ending and some easy trail is coming. <laughs> oh. When before everything was like dramatic and dark and really 
like moist <laughs> and I just have to put a Lord of the Rings parallel to it because I really feel like I'm in in the Middle Earth right now so when before it felt like it's like a bit scary and dark and um, dramatic and the dark riders would come at the at the next stone or rock any minute so now it feels really light and like happy uh, all, everything is covered with moss and I wouldn't be surprised if I would find two hobbits here eating their second breakfast and going to their aunt's birthday it's really mellow mellow and nice and like soft soft is the only word I can come to that comes to my mind soft forest So we have, uh, it's 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. We have walked like four, four hours and we have covered 10 kilometers, which means we have six left. And it should be easy right now. I think we passed the hard, hard lands landscape. And we are on time. I guess we will make it. And that's good news because I was worried, but now actually we walked the entire way basically without without stopping or taking breaks so this is our first break in four hours <laughs> uh, but we did good so funnily enough we have uh, quite a lot of snacks to choose from this is what we bought in uh, new zealand this is really good as well that we bought in Estonia. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. Good. Good. Oh, well, it looks comfortable. Yeah. I invite you to join us. Yeah, it's nice, <laughs> that was really eerie. It yes, was like it was so still. You like how are you walking? Yeah. Okay. We will see you. <laughs> yeah. So this we bought in Estonia, but it is made in the Netherlands. And it is really good, really, really good. That's why we bought it. And also, we bought Honey Power Energy Bread from... This is an Estonian company. I love them so much. But I already ate those on the way. So I guess I will go with this. It smells so good. cacao is No, chocolate cacao. This trail here, it, it, it's too good to be true. After all of this rugged terrain of climbing up and down, it, it is, I feel like I'm in a city. Oh my God. I swear to God, these trails this trail gives you gorgeous views and nature settings like to the left to the right to the left to the right and uh, i'm almost at the stage where i don't even bother taking out the camera but that's that's pretty nice We made it! Oh my god, it feels good! And we have an hour to spare, so... Oh, oh, oh. Am I happy to sit down and lay on the ground? Yes! Väga armas! Üks kirjake, ühel inimesele ja ongi kõik. Millest mul võib kahju olema? Ma lõpetada. Mul tuleb ju veel. Sul on või? Sul on või? Ei ole. <laughs> Kui kõik vaata kelle? 
kohe tiksid 17 km täis, no ma arvan, et see on suhteliselt norm siukene päeva jooksul käia. Et inimene, kes mu kontrolli lauad aga kogu aeg olnud, siis järsku nüüd üles alla, üles alla. Põrguline on sõlja peal. Ja ammustavad niimoodi, et veri väljas. Vaata. So guys, that's it for this trek, for the restart trek. I enjoyed it a lot. So now we are taking the shuttle bus back to Queenstown. We will stay there for two nights and then do another trek. But about this trek you will see on the next video. And if you want to do this trek as well in the future, then I will film a, a separate video about my top tips on this trek. Uh, what should you bring, what not and so on. So keep an eye on that. If you would like to buy some of the prints of the watercolors I did on this hike, then I'm sure I will put some of them on my Etsy page. So go check that out if you uh, would like to. The link is in the corner here and also in the, in the description box below. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Go for a hike because life is so much better in hiking shoes and I will see you really soon. Bye! The bags are a bit heavy and we are off to the Cables track. These damn sandflies are all biting my hands off. <laughs> <laughs>